Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another episode of Uta Macross Gacha video. So if you guys have not watched the update video for the month of March, uh, I'm sure some of you guys don't check out those information because uh, basically you can do it easily for yourself but uh, for those of you who need translation helps on what is going to happen within the month itself, I appreciate those of you who actually watch those videos and of course for those of you who are only watching gacha videos I'm sure you probably have no idea what happened to me uh, during the last two weeks or so basically I caught I caught COVID uh, and has been I have been resting and trying to recover and finally yes I am back although there are still some symptoms uh, lurking around and it's really causing me a bit of a hassle uh, especially energy wise uh, so today's video <laughs> literally came out very late I was planning to do this video yesterday but um, the symptoms of COVID just drained me of my energy and I, I slept through from 6pm to the following morning um, so yeah literally slept for more than 12 hours uh, because that was how drained I was from the symptoms anyways um, we are finally back into Uta Macross Gacha videos um, like I mentioned in the update video I'll be splitting or rather, I, I would have wanted to do both Cheryl and Makina's um, Valentine costumes that I missed out on during the COVID period. Um, but it seems like it would be too much for one video, so I'll split up both Cheryl and Makina between, well, basically Makina and Reina's 6 star and 7 star gacha pools. So for today, we're gonna go, do, go through just some simple things so first things off um, I'm sure most of you who have already been playing the event that's currently going on will have noticed that the event episode plates that are given out this time round uh, actually have a costume that's exclusive to Uta Macross and it belongs to Kana Mama. so Kanamie fans as you can tell here that I have one that's blinking blue already because I've got enough points to actually unlock it um, because I've already attained some of the episode plates from the event itself. So Kaname fans, I'm sure you've probably known by now um, that your waifu is getting an exclusive episode plate through the event episode plates here. So for those of you who have who are Kaname fans, I'm sorry guys, I'm fumbling in my words today. Like I said, I'm still very tired from all the symptoms. So don't mind me. Anyways, um, Kaname fans, I'm sure you guys are uh, trying to work your best and do your best for the current event to unlock this costume for a waifu so we're gonna unlock this costume right here um, hopefully you guys are doing your best to at least try and attain this brand new free costume for Kaname um, yeah and it's, it's, it's a very spunky police outfit <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first costume that we had for Kaname in this uh, police wear. I mean, it's we have another one that is probably in a different color. I'm sure you guys remember. If you guys are Kaname fans, you will know which one I'm talking about. If you guys are not Kaname fans, you will probably know what I'm talking about as well. Considering that some of the Wakure members also have police outfits, so let's unlock this costume right here. And there we go! Kaname looking very snazzy in this red color police outfit. Interestingly enough, it has that um, frilly skirt design at the back. <laughs> the standard Wakure concept. Anyways, yes. So if you guys have been playing hard with the current event, I'm sure um, you have probably unlocked this costume by now. Um, and surprisingly enough, the current event song I've like I like I mentioned in my the update video, I've not heard before because my CD with the soundtrack is still sealed. And yes, it's still sealed. <laughs> I don't have the time or energy to uh, unwrap it and then rip the songs out for the CD for my personal listening. But you know, thanks to Uta Macross, I I get to spoil myself with like the first chorus of the song. <laughs> But surprisingly enough, even for the first chorus of the song, the 
the portion that they've selected for Ota Macross is pretty long and it's not an easy song to play as well even for its very hard difficulty it can be a bit tricky I'm sure for those of you guys who are playing maybe the highest difficulty for extreme I did clear extreme but it's just like I probably won't full combo the thing <laughs> it's, it's that tricky um, even for very hard it took me about five to six tries before I even full combo it because there are some certain tricky patterns where they require you to swipe left and right and it, you know from between the left hander and right hander you probably might have a very difficult time luckily enough I'm a bit handy dexterous so I didn't struggle too badly but still I did struggle quite a bit <laughs> anyways alright let's dive into the gacha portion of the video um, I've not bought my singing stone packs yet so um, I probably would miss out on um, Makina's step up gacha maybe not because it ends tomorrow so maybe I might do Makina's step up gacha with Ray Ray's one together so yeah we have Maki Ray step up bundle <laughs> I don't know let's see how things goes uh, I would definitely want to not miss out on the step up gacha for Makina like I mentioned in the update video um, Maki Ray is definitely a must for me um, yeah so anyways let's take a look at Cheryl's gacha first um, because her gacha did appear first um, before Makina's Valentine's costume. So let's take a look at Cheryl's episode plate. I'm sure most of you by now have probably seen the details without me. But still, it'll be nice to go through with you guys in case you guys want to fully understand the episode plate. So 3,853 total score. Um, that is at its plus 25 luck value. Without the, um, the luck, it comes in at a very... Decent amount, 3603, it's not the most, you know, powerful episode plate for this gen because, well, we've already got Makina out there, so definitely Makina will be more powerful than Cheryl, I think, who knows, maybe tomorrow's video might prove me wrong when I do Makina's gacha. Oh, uh, well, anyways, it seems like the voice does have a very decent high amount of points while Soul takes in second place and of course Charm suffers greatly. Pay attention to the three other divas that can be used for this episode plate because this month we are definitely having the diva improvement events so uh, when that event comes around it means specific divas are equipping all nine episode plates so it's very hard to come across a full set of decent or good set of episode plates for that specific diva that you, maybe your wife or husband do too. So yeah, center skill. Unit's voice is boosted by 90% up. Very fantastic center skill but usually 6 star episode plates nowadays don't take the center position unless you don't have any 7 star episode plates that are fantastic to use. Moving along. Active skill, so it has that new generation active skill for 5 seconds, your score is boosted by 70% up. It's a mass skill, you know, like I said, the older episode plays with the 10 second duration 100% boost. It's still definitely better. Life skill, short duration ability. So this one is the, um, you know, your affection levels for your diva. So for those of you who have Mikumo, Kaname, Cheryl and Milane, uh, with maxed um, affection levels, you definitely want to get this episode played, especially if you're trying to get a very good high score nowadays. Alright, so let's move on. So no special notes attached to Cheryl's episode plate, so that's kind of a bummer, but I don't know, with all of that said, is this a must? I don't know. Um, maybe at the point of time when Cheryl's episode play first appeared, it could have been a must, but now with Makina's out, I, I can't really say for sure, you know? But Cheryl fans, definitely it is a must to get your waifu's episode played. I apologize for the noisy neighborhood. Yes, we do have loud vehicles passing by <laughs> once in a while, even though it's like late in the night right now. Well, disturbing the neighborhood. Oh, anyways, uh, it's 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 a norm. <laughs> I'm sure wherever you live as well, probably you might have something like this. 
Alright, so with that said, um, like I said, Shadow Gnome fans is definitely a must-have. Um, for the rest of us, maybe maybe if you have you know your specific favorite characters within the lineup of usable for this plate, uh, yeah, why not? You know, and of course, since it is a uh, gacha that is with the event gacha tickets, you know, you do have that free template pool right there. So uh, why not? So let's do the free pool from the Cheryl Gacha first before we talk about um, Makina's brand new 7 star episode play. So, a bit of a different direction on how this Gacha video is turning out thanks to the, uh, well, mishap of COVID. <laughs> okay, we did. Ooh! Rainbow box on a single pool? What? <laughs> What is this? What is this blessing here? That's that's okay. I'm done with this gacha. I don't have to pull it anymore, <laughs> and I have enough points to unlock the costume. Oh yeah, I remember now because Cheryl's costume, do um the event during that time, actually gave episode plates uh with Cheryl's costume points. So that's one of the main reasons why this, uh, gacha is definitely um you know, may not need to pull status. Uh, I completely forgot about that. Now that I've seen this banner up here, I, I remember that it was given points for this costume. So Cheryl fans actually had a very easy time. Uh, I mean, if the bare minimum was to unlock the costumes, um, the event gacha episode plates were definitely just there to help you out already. And it's not necessary to attain this wonderful episode plate that I just got here. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is... Utah Micros or Dana, you know, um, giving me good luck because I survived COVID as well. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's just me blabbering nonsense right here. But it's, it's nice. It's nice to see that I got it in just a single free pool. Wow. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. Okay, so I do have the event gacha tickets, so I don't really need to pull the, um, the discounted pool. Oh, I wish I had used the luck for Makina 7 star episode play though. Oh well. Okay, so let's do the template pool with the event gacha tickets. I'm gonna use my subscription tickets on probably Ray Ray's gacha. <laughs> the 7 star episode plate pools are definitely more important. Oh wow, we still got a bit of a load. Okay. I, I, it'll be interesting if I actually see Cheryl's episode play evolve, but I doubt it will happen. Okay, single red box on the first pool. Alright, so it seems like that block has gone back to its horrible, crappy state. <laughs> uh, it's bound to happen. Okay. Oh, more costume points. No, don't really need it, but you know, for future episode of attainment, I guess. There you go. Oh, Miraj! Hello, my third waifu from De Delta. <laughs> uh, well, she's pr practically number two. Um, she's in front of uh, Makina. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my, my Delta ranking is Ray Ray first, then Miraj, then Makina. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to know. Anyways, okay, so enough of Cheryl. Um, let's take a look at Makina's episode plate. Let's break it down. Alright, for 7 star episode plate, 4,293 and it's plus 25 luck value. Um, without its plus 25 luck value, the episode plate comes in at a total of 4,043. So, it's... Not very high considering that it is um, this current gen 7 star episode plates. Um, so I don't know. Let's see how it fares with all the skills and all that first. So wow, this episode plate is a full pump on soul. And of course voice and charm takes a total dive down <laughs> in the horrible lane. Huh. <laughs> Alright, so for 7 star episode plates, you don't really need to bother too much about who else can use the episode plate, but of course, Ray Ray is definitely there, as usual, because it's the Maki Ray pairing. 
Konami and Min Mei is there as well, but I guess if you want to consider the other three divas uh, who can use this plate mainly because of its life skill, the uh, you know, these seven star episode plates do give a good total score, so it might help uh, giving you a good total score in some way, but you know, life skills on seven star plates are pretty pointless. Center skill. So with the um, usage of this episode played on a Macross Delta song, you get the double S ranking ability, which is the 150% boost in you know your unit's soul. So yeah, considering that this episode play is full soul uh, in terms of stats, you know this is definitely useful for Blue Series songs. All right, moving along, active skill. Oh, combo bonus. So this is one of those new 7-star episode plates with the combo bonus active skill, which is good for those easy to handle long duration songs that don't really have consistent notes flowing down on you. Like the the last event for the month of February, um, we, we had that new song as well from Cheryl um, that really didn't have too many notes and is a pretty long duration ability, uh, long duration song. So, combo bonus abilities actually help out with that kind of songs. So you get the gist of how you want to use combo bonus, you know, active skill and live skills uh, for high score achievements. Live skill, like I said, not really too interesting for seven star episode plates because most of them are all B. Um, series abilities and they are, this one's for the short duration score up so yeah and it's only a miserable 20% boost so it's not that fantastic all right so let's go Ooh, it has a special note attachment and it's the item note wow <laughs> okay so the last seven star episode play that we had item note attachment to it was Ranka and Cheryl's, which is actually the very first set of 7 star episode plates that actually have this note attachment. Wow! Okay, so I think Ray Ray's 7 star episode plate that's appearing tomorrow will be the same thing. So let's compare now. Between Makina's and Cheryl and Ranka's episode plate, I'm gonna put up the image for Cheryl and Ranka's episode plates total score without his plus 25 luck value. Both of them actually comes in at a total of 4065. So Ranka and Cheryl's episode plate actually beats Makina by 22 points. <laughs> so I guess the Frontier duo still beats the Delta uh, love pair <laughs> so um so guys and plus considering that the frontier episode plays have the active skill that um you know gives you the good score percentage i don't know yeah you know you, the usual active skill the active skill that gives you that percentage boost in score rather than a combo bonus ability so in terms of personal preference it seems sadly to say Ranka and Cheryl still takes the cake. Makina and Rei Rei are second, second tier. <laughs> In terms of 7 star episode plates with the item note. I'm, I'm really hoping that Rei Rei's episode plate does come with the item note too. Because it makes no sense if Makina has it and then Reina doesn't have it. So it's most likely that Rei Rei's episode plate will have the special note attachment to it as well. So with that said, is this a must pull? Technically, yes! Even though it does have the slightly inferior active skill of a combo bonus ability. But you know, like I said, between the regular active skill that uh, gives the percentage boost and the combo bonus, both have its own use considering that we don't really have too many um, songs that actually require the combo bonus ability to get a good high score. But Nevertheless, it's always good to have it on hand just in case an event song happens to be that kind of style. So I don't really have an active skill with combo bonus ability yet, so I really really want Makina 7 star episode plates. So with all of that said, hopefully this helps you decide whether you should toss your own singing stones into pulling this brand new episode plate of Makina's 
especially if you don't have an active skill with such an ability. So with all that said, let's do this free single pool for Makina first. This is turning out to be an extremely long video as well. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't add Makina's uh, Valentine costume into this video. Now it's going to end up like a, a whole hour long gacha video that's just too long for anyone's view. <laughs> what? What's with the... Ooh, it evolved! What is with this blessing from single moves? Oh my goodness! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I'm seriously thinking that, you know, getting COVID is... Or rather, having some kind of bad luck is actually my good luck sign. What is going on? I got Makina's episode plate just with the single free pool. Is there even a need to for me to buy the singing storm packs and do the step up gacha now? <laughs> oh thank goodness I can save money but I still have Ray Ray's video tomorrow. Oh no <laughs> Okay at least I don't have to spend as much as I needed. Oh goodness gracious me. Oh I don't know getting COVID is it is it a good thing for my Uta Macross game? I don't know, but it was such a horrible experience. Maybe because I suffered too much, then now Dana is repaying me with good luck. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, this is this is too much to take in. <laughs> single pools! What is with single pools? And then my template pools all turn out horrible. What is this nonsense? Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have nothing to say. I seriously have nothing to say. This is this is too much of a miracle for me. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, I still have my event template, uh, uh, event tickets. I mean, oh god, let's do this. Let's do this. I I don't expect another copy to come out. Uh, this is this is too much. If there is another copy. I would like to save some luck for tomorrow, please. <laughs> Ray Ray is more important to me. <laughs> but it's nice to get Makina's epics to play out. Uh, and of course, the template pool gets a horrible luck. Yeah, what's with today, seriously? Yeah, single red boxes. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is a very strange phenomenon. <laughs> Guys, has this ever happened to you in any of your video games <laughs> that you've played? There is a gacha system. So strange when you have bad luck. Hey, like, it, it's like there's this belief within the Chinese community uh, in my country where if you ha if you get bad luck or if like a bird poops on you, you should buy a lottery ticket and it's most likely you will win. This is the kind of feeling right now. <laughs> Oh, and okay, at least there's some progression with some old plates, so that's not too bad. And the tickets were free, so that's fine. Okay. Oh my goodness, I have nothing to say. Oh wait, I still have to check if my Super Dimension tickets are going to expire, so mo most probably I will do a template pool from there as well. Plus the evening um, single free pool. Here we go, might as well make use of it. Who knows, maybe the single free pool from here will give me something fantastic too. Uh, that's just wishing for too much. <laughs> as expected, nothing here. Okay, uh, costume points. That's pretty rare as well. Uh, it seems like the single free pools are getting giving me some decent luck, or rather extreme luck. Uh, okay. Let's check the Super Dimension Gacha. Let's see. Expiring today. Oh no, tomorrow. 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 Okay, in that case, I'll, I'll leave it for tomorrow's Gacha. Um, this one's expiring on the 12th. So that's fine. So guys, I'm going to end it here. Today's, today's luck is ridiculously unbelievable. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys will get to experience this kind of luck um, personally for yourself in the future, or even now, tomorrow, we re raise Gacha, I don't know. It's just too unbelievable. <laughs> I'm still I'm still quite 
uh, taken aback by what has just happened. <laughs> I, I I cannot believe it. You know, we've been dry with luck for three months now, considering that since last year until now, this is the first time that I've seen such a miraculous pool. I mean, it's not two seven-star episode plates in the same ten plate pool. You know, it's still not not that kind of miracle, but still, still. Two featured episode plates pulled out from single free pools. That's just too amazing in its own thing. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching another long Utama Cross Gacha video. For those of you who missed out on, um, you know, the the March update video, um, as usual, guys, check it out. Um, if not, you know, I still wish you guys, everyone, to stay safe, especially if. COVID and of course whatever that's happening around the world right now things are not looking good for the month of February to March um, yeah stay safe guys from the world and of course the viruses <laughs> and until then guys I'll see you guys soon well it's technically tomorrow's video but I might put it out on the following day you know gotta give this some this video some breathing space for viewing <laughs> until then guys bye